<laughs> hey everyone, uh, this is Chris here. Uh, welcome to this podcast. Thank you for listening. Uh, we have an amazing guest here today, and her name is Maddie. And Maddie, tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh gosh, um, where do I even begin? So I have been living in Sacramento for about four years now, four and a half years now. Um, I'm from San Diego, and SD. yeah, so I grew up in San Diego. Went to college in Louisiana. I played soccer in Louisiana. Really? Yes. Um, so that was really fun. Um, but yeah, moved back uh, to California, and my sister was up here first, so that's how I kind of wanted to check out Sacramento. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just, I loved it, and really, like, just the community was so welcoming, and now yeah. here I am. Now I'm never leaving. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's yeah, so cool. yeah. Man, and so... So with so San Diego, you were born and raised there. I was actually born in Japan. I'm a in military Japan. baby. Hey, same here. So, oh, good. Yes. Yeah. So both my parents were in the Marines. Wow. Um, yeah. So I was born in Okinawa, Japan. Oh my god. I don't remember any of it. Yeah. Uh, I was a very very small baby, but yeah. um, my sister went to kindergarten there, so she remembers a little bit a little of bit, it. Yeah. Um, but then we moved to San Diego. Like mm. I was probably like two or three when we moved back, and so. Yeah, was raised in San Diego, and yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I totally understand the military baby stuff, because I had lived in Germany for a few years, okay. and yeah. I don't remember too much of it. Yeah. I just remember the schnitzels were good. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing a couple of castles. I remember seeing Cobblestone Roads. Yeah. I remember there was this hole-in-the-wall restaurant, and the only thing they had was just wood tables, wood trays, yeah. ribs. Potato fingerlings and beer. Yeah. <laughs> and it was the best ribs I ever had in my life. Oh my gosh. I'm 31 now. Yeah. But the ribs I had as a seven years old, I still taste it. Oh gosh. I yeah. still taste it. You gotta go back. Yes. You gotta go back oh, and I, visit. I need to go back. Yeah. Yeah. I will go back. I always talk about wanting to go back to Japan. Yeah. I mean, it would probably be like the first time because I don't remember yeah. anything, but yeah. I do have like family videos and they have, you know, monsoons or it what is it? It's like a typhoon, I think. Yeah. Um, and video of me as a baby, like standing on the porch and the wind is just like blowing me around. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so those are really funny to watch back, but um, I'm super interested in going back and yeah. just, yeah, exploring. So oh, yeah. God. Yep. I know. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I really need to think about traveling. Cause right? that is, yeah. I keep hearing people saying like, you got to go here. You got to go here. You got to go here. Yeah. I heard of Japan a couple years ago. I heard of that, but now you just mm -hmm. reintroduce it to my mind. And, you know, most of the time when you look at flights, like, to go overseas, yeah. it's, like, the same amount if you're wanting to, like, fly to Hawaii or fly yep. to, like, New York City or just, like, across the country. You could fly to, you know, you could fly anywhere in Europe for almost the same price yeah. nowadays. It's crazy. Yeah. So, And then yeah. so from being from the military, do you have family that lives in different like areas or states? Um, we are, the majority of us are here. Mm -hmm. um, my parents are still in San Diego. I have some family in Reno, Tahoe area. Nice. And then, um, yeah, so we're basically all over here. So, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Mine is like completely different. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I have some family that lives in the Bay Area. Okay. But then I have a lot of family that lives in like Jersey. Nice. Um, okay. In the Carolinas also. Oh, that's it. Yeah. In Georgia too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right <laughs> all now. over the place. But all, all it over sounds the place. about right, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, Man, that yeah. Was so cool. Yeah, and then so with being in Sacramento, how does it compare to the places that you've been before? Oh gosh, I feel like the difference. I you know I mentioned community earlier. Yeah. I feel like there's such there's such a strong sense of community here in yeah. Sacramento, and um, yeah, like I've lived in. You know, I grew up in San Diego. Yes. I lived in Louisiana, and I, you know, I had an automatic family in Louisiana in college because I had my yeah. my teammates. Yes. Um, and then I lived in Texas for a little bit. Oh, cool. And um, and uh, I also lived in Sa or South Carolina for a little bit. I've been all oh, over the place. Oh, really? Yes. And so, um, but I just feel like the sense of community here is so much stronger. Like yeah. it's, I always say that the it's the best of both worlds. I feel like we're in a big city, but yep. it's a small town feel. Yes. So it's like for someone that is craving both, I feel like it's perfect here for that. So I love that. Yeah. 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 And when, and so for me, how I kind of could, well, contrast from everywhere else is that I can literally go two hours to the beach. 
Yes. Or I can go two hours the other way to the snow. Yep. Like, I have the option to choose exactly. what time that I want. <laughs> yes. Because I used to live in Colorado. Oh, oh yeah. Goodness. You get, like, negative 17 degrees in the winter. Yeah. And we still had class. I've never experienced that type of cold. You don't, I don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, nah. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing much with you, that. So. Really not. Really <laughs> yeah. not. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then so what do you do for work? I actually work for Apple full time. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, And so, but I also have a photography business. Um, So I do that on the side and I love it. Um, And I'm starting to get into, I say starting to, but like I've been in like the influencer scene for a little bit. Um, And so I'm starting to like you know, take myself a little bit more seriously in the, yes. in that realm. But um, so, yeah, I like I basically have like five jobs <laughs> <laughs> um, in short. In summary, yeah. I um, am just all over the place all the time. Um, but I just love being creative. I think that's like the common denominator there. Yeah. yeah so. That is so cool. Yeah. And so. it was crazy. Like I found you on TikTok. Oh, yeah. And then uh, a lot of people have been like, oh, TikTok is just a fad. I'm like, I don't think it is. It's it's here to stay. At first, I really did think that. And yeah. now I'm like, okay, yeah, it's really, it's here to stay. Yeah. Um, and it's so much fun. Yeah. I love it. I, you know, if you talk to my friends, yeah. they, they'll tell you that I really resisted it for a little bit. I it's like, too. there's no way. There's no way I'll just, you know, yeah. I'm not going to do it. And then eventually I did it. And now here I am. Damn. You know, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I'm never leaving. <laughs> so. Was it scary posting on there for the first time? Yes. Yeah. Um, and I started posting kind of just like all over the place. I was yeah. just posting a bunch of random stuff. Yeah. And my Instagram was really like Sacramento focused. And yes. so when, you know, one day I was like, you know, I'm just going to like delete all my videos on TikTok and yeah. just start over and just start posting like really like Sacramento focused content. Yes. And then like, boom, it just so went crazy one day. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and so, yeah. Um, like last time I checked, you had like 58,000 followers or something like that. It's just, it's crazy. I yeah. never would have expected that. And what, ha- what has years. that led you to? Wow. Um, I mean, I've definitely made a ton of connections in the Sacramento community. Um, and I actually was asked to host a whole TV show, which is just wild. Um, and so, yeah, if it wasn't for that, I mean, um, who knows? Yeah. So, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy. Like one post can really change. Yes. Like your life. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty just crazy to look back. Um, and I always do talk about too, like when I first moved to Sacramento, I was a part of, um, this group called the blog block shout out to cache. Um, and, um, she actually connected me with the river train, the Sacramento river train. And I remember I had tickets to go and the person that I was supposed to go with bailed at the last second. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go. And uh, I went by myself, had a great time, took photos. And then they were like, hey, we love your photos. Can you come back and take photos for the train? And, like, that moment, like, really, like, kicked it off for me and, like, just spiraled everything, I think, from that moment to where we are today. Like, um, you know, I started, like, putting myself out there and making those connections. And then I started posting content about the train on TikTok and that's what really kicked it off. And so it's like, if I would have never made that connection back with the train, like at the very beginning, four years ago, I wouldn't have been able to make that content or post it, you know? So it's just like little things like that. I think is really cool just to kind of see like the sequel of events, like lead to where we are, you know? Little things that build up. Totally. So yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So, I mean, it's, it's just been really fun. It's been a really fun journey. I love to hear that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then, so with that getting a new show, what's it called and what's it about? Okay. So the show is called Maddie and Dixie take sack town and um, it's through very local and, so it is basically, we're just going around town. We went to, we visited 32 different locations. 32? Yes. In 30, how long? Uh, we filmed it in two weeks. Dang. Yeah. We were, we went everywhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's really cool. We're just, you know, exploring Sacramento yes. and uh, visiting small businesses. Yep. And each episode has a theme. And um, 
It's just really cool, I think, because I've only been here for four years. Yes. So to some, I'm not really considered a local yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but my co-host, Dixie, she's lived here and has grown up here. And so she is absolutely a Sacramento native. And so that's kind of like what makes our show unique is like I I'm like I have like the newcomer outlook and she has the native outlook yes. and so it's like you know it's it's for everyone if you if it you're is. just moving here or you've been here forever um you know you're absolutely gonna love it it's gonna make you fall in love with your city again yeah yeah so and you know what's crazy too is like uh because I'm like a real estate agent yeah and then so I will post about certain neighborhoods and then what's funny is that People that have lived here all their lives are like, I've never heard of this neighborhood before. Yeah, and it's like, okay, so you can't you can't say like, oh yeah, you're not a Sacramento because you haven't been here that long, right? <laughs> or you don't know. Yeah, there's some pla- there's still places to explore here. Totally. Yeah, so I love that about your show. Yeah, I get that all the time too. Is like, even when I post about the rail bikes, yeah. people are like, we've lived here for 20 years and I've never even heard of this. I didn't know that yeah. was here, and uh, we've had two episodes come out so far yeah. and. And some of the places that we visited, people are like, yeah, same thing. Like, yeah. we've lived here our whole lives, and we've never been there. We've never visited. And so it's, like, inspiring people to get out and, like, yes. explore their city. Be a tourist in your own city. Yeah. You know? Really so, should. yeah. They really should. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, I'm pretty sure you've gotten this, too. We've gotten a lot of hate about living in Sacramento. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> why would you even think about living in Sacramento? <laughs> yep. Well, how about you come up here? Yeah. Visit, explore. Yeah. And you'll find out why. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, you know, Sacramento is super underrated. It is. And uh, people think of Sacramento as it was 10, 15, 20 years yep. ago. Yep. And I can't speak to that. I can't speak to what Sacramento was 10, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, but I can speak to, you know, people are constantly telling me, like, you moved here at the best time. Yes. And uh, it's not like... It, it was back then and things like that. And so, but yeah, I do get a ton of like, there's nothing to do here. What are you talking about? And I'm like, if there was nothing to do here, why am I so busy? Like, right? Why am yeah, I why, like yeah. constantly going all over the place? You know, there's a ton of things. It's, it's really what you make it, you know, it it's, you know, you gotta, you gotta put some effort into it a little bit, I think. Exactly. So <laughs> you, really, really like you can yeah. be in a, you can be in San Francisco and be like, oh, there's nothing to do because you haven't done anything. Exactly. You gotta get out there. Or you don't know. You, don't you know. just don't know what's out there. So exactly. yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you made you made a point about um what was next to it? Yeah. Um visiting different places, people who've been there for a while. Damn. I have a point about that, <laughs> but I think I forgot about it. Yeah. But um I'll ask a couple questions for Sacramento, what do you feel is the best place to get a breakfast? Oh, gosh. Some breakfast. Best breakfast. Yeah. Um, I am a huge fan of Tower Cafe Tower off Cafe. Broadway. Okay. They have really great French toast. Oh. Um, yes. Um, and I would also like to um, – Gosh. Okay. So Limelight Cafe is this, it's next to a card room, like a poker playing room. Um, And they actually have really great brunch, Mm. um, which is like one of those like not really expected type of places, you know? Um, But yeah, I would have to say, yeah, Tower um, Fox and Goose is really good. Okay. I'm getting hungry, but yeah. um, <laughs> I'm really hungry. I'm gonna say stick with Tower. Okay. Yeah, that's my final answer. Stick with Tower. For yeah. Best <laughs> yes. How about lunch? Okay, so it really depends on what you're craving. Okay. Um, and um, so a big topic is burger, best burger right now. Yep. And um, everybody says Pangea, which I've not been to Pangea yet. Pangea yeah. Cafe. It's across from Gunther's. Oh, in, yeah. uh, what is that? Like Curtis Park area? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So I heard that they have the really good burger. And then there's also a market off of, it's over off C Street, I think, but it's like tour, it's like back in the corner. And there's this little market called Compton's Market. And they have a little like diner in the back. And apparently oh. they have the best burger. So you got to save that. Put in my notes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then um, also I heard Crew, which is the sushi place. Yes. They have the like a really good burger. Burgers. Yes. Um, so, but yeah, for lunch, yeah, it just really depends. So, burger, fried chicken, yeah. I think like 
Bach has really good fried chicken. Um, uh, if we're thinking barbecue, I'm a huge fan of Tank uh, Tank House Barbecue. Okay, I've heard of them. So good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so lunch, dinner. I mean, it really depends on what you're craving, but yeah. yeah. So what's the... <laughs> So what's the most memorable memorable restaurant you've been to that you can think? Oh my gosh, most memorable restaurant. Yeah. Um oh gosh, that's so hard. I um I think um ooh, I would probably have to say so Bach and Urban Roots um you know, they're owned by the the same group of people. Yeah. Um love them. And they also have a speakeasy as well. It's called The Roost. I, yeah. Um, that, so it's not technically a restaurant, yeah. but um, it's a bar and a speakeasy bar. Yes. Um, so cool. It like, you just step into the Twilight Zone. You step into a completely different, like, oh, just oh. atmosphere. It is amazing what they did um, with that speakeasy. So I would definitely have to say them. Um, but just Bach and Urban Roots, they have great food. Um, and then, oh, I just had one too and I lost it. Um, oh, uh, the Butterscotch Den is new, okay. and um, it's over off Broadway, too. It's in Oak Park. Um, that's also another one where it's not really a speakeasy, but yeah. it's not really obvious to what it r- is. Yeah. But when you open the door, you, like, just transport to, like, a completely different, like, it's super dark in there, oh. and it's just, like, you cook your own food. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, and uh, they just, yeah, it's really, really neat. It's really uh, unique. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, last place I've been to where I cook my own food was, it's called Daikon, uh, Korean oh, barbecue. Yeah. It's in Natomas. Okay. It's amazing. Oh God. I mean, it sounds amazing. Top yeah. <laughs> it sounds tier. really good. Yeah. yeah. And then for best place to go on a date in Sacramento. What do you think? Okay. So I have a couple of, couple of ideas too. So yes. Smix is a little bar and they have small eats off of K Street. Okay. Um, yeah. And the, the lady that owns it, her name's Paula. She's super lovely. Yeah. Um, but that's a great date night spot. Um, also, I would have to say, um, oh, gosh. Um, I just did, like, this whole, like, date night series because that's, like, people want to know where to go yeah, on they, a date. They, yeah, that's um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Drake's The Barn would be a really fun date night. It is fun, yeah. Um, you know, it's like just their outdoor seating is really yes. cool. Pizza, fire pits, you Live can just music. like chill. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that would be a fun date night. Um, gosh, putting me on the spot here. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would say The Roost is really cool. The yes. Snug yeah. is also a, a really cool place. Shady Lady. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to work at the Bergs and Brew right next to Shady Lady. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love that whole strip. Like yes. bottles and barlow bottle and barlow. Mm-hmm. Like all those bars right there. Yes. That's I love those. It's really cool. Yeah. It yeah. is really cool. Yeah. But yeah, and then so how do you feel about the Sacramento Kings this year? Oh my gosh. Um, um I'm excited. Which yeah. I think people will also make fun of me for that. <laughs> that I've been excited I mean, for know, King season. I liked going to the games. Um, you I know, hopefully, hopefully we have a good season. Yes. Um, but I was so bummed when they traded. Uh, oh my yeah. gosh, I was so sad. I got so attached to people, him. Yeah, a lot of people were hurt. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. you know, everyone was like, "That was your first mistake." Yep. Was getting attached to him because I guess that's like a thing that they do. Yep. Um. So, but um. Yeah, I was really bummed, but. Yeah. Um, we're definitely going to get King's passes this season. We did it last season. Yeah. And yeah, we just loved going there. Yeah. The games are so fun. So they yeah, really are. they really are. Yeah. They said that, um, you have a reason to be excited though. Cause they said like four of the top hundred players yeah. are in it. Yes. From the Kings. Yeah. So I am a little suspicious why they had Keegan Murray when he's oh. a rookie and hasn't even played yet. I, know. I guess I mean, he balls out in summer ball. Yeah. Yeah. Still summer ball. I know. So yeah. we'll see, but I'm excited. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Definitely yeah. a couple couple games. In yeah. There. Yeah. Definitely. Are there any um, shows that you are glued to right now? Um, Gosh. Okay. So everyone that's going to see this knows that I'm like, uh, uh, I just watch Friends on a loop. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so I watch that show religiously. But when I am not watching Friends, yes. Um, I'm just really into like true crime stuff. I'm really know. into um, just like any like actually, okay. 
So we just watched, there's a documentary, um, a Tony Hawk documentary on HBO oh, Max. Oh, I heard about that. It's really good. Uh, it was actually really, really good. He's crazy. Yeah, um, I, yeah he is. <laughs> but um, I feel like all of the, like, you know, top athletes in the world are just kind of a little crazy. They got something. Yeah, um, but it was actually really good, so I would recommend watching that. Yes. Um, and I'm trying to think what else I've watched lately. I feel like I've been running around like a crazy person. I don't have time to. I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. I get it. What have you been watching? I have been watching House of the Dragon. Okay. That is that is a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah. This is one it... guy, Damon, is very petty. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it definitely gives you the discomfort of how Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones likes to yeah to handle that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's been a while so far. Would you say it's like you know as good or better than Game of Thrones? I would say um, I'm not investing in it too much right yeah. now yeah. because I've been burned on the last one. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like oh, okay, that was good. Okay. <laughs> That yes. was good too, but yeah. I just I can't go fully can't. in there. Yeah, fully commit. Yeah. But one thing I'm really hooked on is Stranger Things. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yep. That last season was crazy. Mm-hmm. I think so. I love I love it. I think my the my favorite is the first season. I don't yes. know why it was like that one was just that one was so good. But yes, yeah. so I love it too. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> I know. <laughs> yeah, and then so the thing that I have on loop. Um, Whenever I just feel like yeah. I need to go see it again, Parks and Rec. Yeah, that's oh. a great one. Oh. Parks and Rec, The Office, uh, Friends, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I'll put it on when I'm cleaning. Yeah. Or just when I'm going to sleep, you know, yes. anything. Just yes. I, when I need, like, that background noise, yeah. Definitely. Yep. Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. And then, um, so I remember what I was thinking yeah. earlier. So. Uh, when you were saying, like, I can't speak to the 10 years ago. Yeah. I've been here for 11 years. Okay. And when honestly, when I first got here, I was like, sack is trash. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what yeah. to do here. But then I've seen it grown so much within the 11 years. Oh, I bet. And it's, it's really become home to me. Yeah. And I'm starting to see what it can be in the future as well. And I'm like, this is, it's really growing. Right. It could become like a mega region. Yeah. 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 So it's Sacramento or something else. Right. Yeah. Don't totally sleep. Don't else. sleep on it. Don't yes. sleep on Sacramento. <laughs> yeah. You don't sleep on Sac. Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> do you live downtown or do you live out ta- downtown? No. Downtown? So I live in Natomas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then so that's far. the only place I've lived in. And then um, with work, I got to see like several different oh, neighborhoods yeah. and areas. And um, someone told me before when I first got here, they're like, you know, it's funny because you can see Sac as, um, like, Pride Rock. Yeah. And then there's, like, some parts where you're like, okay, you can't look that. If you go past there, it's yeah. pretty bad. <laughs> but I feel like it's, it's you got good, bad, good, bad, mm-hmm. good, bad, good, uh, good, uh, I feel good. like that's everywhere, everywhere though, though, you know? Yeah. It's not different from yeah. anywhere, so, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for saying yeah. that for audience. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're going to run into that, yeah. Yeah. So. Totally. We're going to keep getting that hate, but we just keep spreading love. Yeah, exactly. Indeed. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Man, uh, I think I have ran out of some things to talk about today. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Um. Okay, so where did you live before you moved to Sacramento? Colorado. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where? Yeah. What part? I lived in Colorado Springs. Okay, I was then, just there. You were just there? Like. Literally a week and a half ago. <laughs> in the spring? <laughs> yes, yes. My Why? boyfriend is from there. Oh, nice. Yes, and so we actually went back. Um, well, he went back. He hadn't yeah. been back in years. Yeah. And so we went and uh, went through Garden of the Gods. Oh, and we did, my gosh. Yeah, so um, it's beautiful. It is. It's so pretty. It um, really and then we spent some time in Denver. Yes. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, Denver. Denver's crazy now. They've expanded, too. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was shocked too. That's another thing is like I think Sacramento is you know it when you when you're just here for a long time you yeah. feel like it's a bigger city and then you go to like Denver or like yeah. Phoenix and I'm like no yeah. it's not <laughs> it's really tiny um it's you know it's just like wide yes yeah. Yeah. yeah um but yeah we had a good time but yeah I need like access to a coast yes you know um so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but, I've been there because I think I lived in Colorado for about ten ish years. Okay. 
and you know, I've I've had my time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, and Sacramento is just great. So it is. But yeah. it is, man. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much for having me. This was so fun. No, thank you. Yeah. This is really cool. And then for people at home, um, where can they reach you? Yeah, um, so you can follow me on Instagram at maddie.eccles. Nice. And then that is also my TikTok username as well, at maddie.eccles. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm also I'm always posting just, you know, oh. wild stuff. I post some Sacramento humor, you yeah, know. Yeah, you got to. Um, and just, you know, things to do, places yep. to see. Yep. Um, the latest controversy, I don't even know if I should put this, if should talk about this. Go ahead. Um, so I made a joke about Pancake Circus. Oh, was, oh my God, that's <laughs> I forgot about. Oh, I'm so glad you brought um, that up. Sacramento, you know, okay, that's another thing I love about Sacramento. Yes. Um, is that, you know, so. Here's some information. Okay, Siri. <laughs> um, <laughs> but so, I didn't even, it wasn't really a joke. Yes. But um, I posted something about Pancake Circus yeah. and um, somebody asked, what is, you know, they're like, I've lived here all my whole life. I don't know yeah. what Pancake Circus is. And so I, res- I made a video responding to their comment and yes. I was like, Pancake Circus is this restaurant on Broadway, and it's really creepy yeah. looking, and it has cl- clowns everywhere, yeah. and, you know, they have trash bags covering the windows and things like this, um, and I'm like, it just seems really strange to me. I haven't been inside, but I was like, but my boyfriend, you know, he, yeah. he, he li- he's very curious, and he'll check out anything, and he went and, you know, just wasn't a fan of the food and things like that, um, and so I made a video about it, yeah. and oh, so Sacramento was like, you know, that's a staple and, you know, you got to go and try it. And like, that was one thing I'm like, Sacramento will defend. They will like, you know, oh just what gosh. they love, which I love about Sacramento. Yes. That's, yes. that's like the community coming together again. To the defense. Uh, yes. Yes. And so it was just so funny because I'm like, oh my goodness. Like they have some really strong feelings about Pancake Circus. Yes, they do. Um, so I will say if you're interested in trying Pancake Circus, absolutely go and try. Okay. Um, so I think I need to, to just go and try it. Um, I do too. but, um, but it was just like, that was the latest thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause I was going to, I was looking and I was like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. what happened here? Yeah. <laughs> yes. What? what happened? But it really, I think it increased, you know, everyone's curiosity about Pancake Circus. Yeah, and so yeah. hopefully they've gone to check it out, you know? Yeah. So, but it was just, it was so funny. So, oh, so I'm funny. Bad. But, um, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out sometime mm-hmm. when I first seen the post, and then it had you had the filter on it too. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. geez, is this Halloween thing? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So, but it's been around since. I mean, I, it was really cool to hear like some people were commenting like, oh, my parents used to work back, work at Pancake Circus like back in the seventies, oh, wow. and like it used to be a lot different things like that. And so it has been around for, for a, a long time. Yeah. Um. So that's cool. But yeah, it was like. Yeah, I'm like that. That's my newcomer to sack coming out. I'm like, I don't know yeah. about this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, but no, Sacramento. I've I just have nothing but love for Sacramento. So, Me too. yeah. Me too. <laughs> so yes. That is so cool. Yep. Hey, yeah. I really appreciate you having. Yeah, having thank you. Here. Yeah, I'm excited to, um, you know, to continue to listen. Yes. To your podcast and yeah, this is really awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh wow. Yes. Nate, uh, I think we yeah. are done. But uh, thank you, everyone, for listening today. Uh, yes. You can check it out on <laughs> YouTube, TikTok, IG, nice. Twitter, under my name, Chris I Hate. This is awesome. All right. <laughs> Take care.